Air pollution in the urban sector of India is rising, especially Delhi in recent times. And the national capital region has been struggling to breathe for the last two weeks. It's one of the world's most polluted cities, India's capital, Delhi. This is New Delhi, India's capital, and its dangerously polluted air is putting millions at risk. The air quality in the national capital has dipped into the very poor category. That's 70 times the upper limit set by the World Health Organization. The air quality is fast turning hazardous in India's capital city, New Delhi. Indoor air pollution is up to five times worse than outdoor air pollution, and it can be more toxic. Corporate employees spend large portions of the day indoors. Solving outdoor pollution is a bigger climate problem. But what about indoors? Bengaluru-based startup B Nature has come up with a solution to this problem plant-based air purifiers that are backed by artificial intelligence. We in nature, when we started, always the goal was towards the sustainability and to address the issue of air pollution. The journey of Be Nature started in 2019, officially when we registered this company. But however, we sowed the seeds of this firm two years back when we were working as a professional in one of the IPCs, where we come across a daily pollution and NCR was suffering from the high pollutant level. What we are breathing in, we cannot judge it. Unlike the water bottle, you can judge it with the help of the quality by seeing it, but air you cannot. Which is the most important aspect of our life, what we are breathing, we have to give value to that. Now, why are they making these when we already have air purifiers in the market? You see, the problem with air purifiers is that they have filters that come with expiry dates that may last around six to eight months. Once their validity is over, you have to replace with a new filter or else it will start creating negative consequences to your health. Just Breathe has taken a birth not only in terms of giving the solution towards the air pollution, it has addressed our realistic issues, which is real-time monitoring, which was absent. First, we need to understand why we require this real-time monitoring. The fact of the matter is when the air is dynamic, which is changing every minute, so the system which is going to arrest the problem of this air has to be dynamic. We can only sort out the issues, what we can control, what we can monitor. To make sure that we monitor the right thing at the right time, Real-time monitoring helps to track the real-time analysis of air which is inside the air which is outside the ambient air what we call it which helps to further break down in the different components which uh, contributes to air quality the AQI what we see. They say the seeing is believing and that is how we have put it across that psychological satisfaction brings when I can show you what you are bringing. In the just speed stations, we have a monitors with the screens which can show you the depicts the data what is outside and what is inside where you're spending six to seven hours of your working operations hours and how you are breathing and how are the conditions of air what you are breathing in. One aspect is your monitoring. The other aspect are you parallelly managing the things that to sustainable manner. We are all talking about circular economy. We are all talking about sustainability. But what will happen when the filters what we are using currently has gone to eight to ten months, they gone to the landfills. Whatever the aspect we are using, whatever the paths we are using in the just breathe, it has to be sustainable, which will not create an impact on the climate, which will not cause a bad impact or adverse effect on the health of the people. Plants are the spinal cord of this entire air purification system. The main contributors and the main important aspects of the Jaspi station, the biggest one is the plants, which helps in arresting the pollutants and convert them into their food. For that, the basic important aspect is the roots of these plants. We have selected particularly plants which can acclimatize to the environment, which has the ability to arrest the pollutants convert to their food. The filters you see here are the space for the roots to capture all the polluted air in the workspace, including smoke coming out of cigarettes. These plants will utilize the polluted air as their food and release fresh air from this filter system. These plants are first grown in the lab and closed environment. Once the plants are ready, they will be shifted to the bottles like these without exposing to the outside environment. The main purpose of lab-grown saplings is to adjust to the new environment when they're shifted. The second reason is they will not get any type of contamination, which is a common problem in the plant-based systems. In the next stage, they will be shifted to seedling trays. In this stage, 
The plants are kept under observation to check how they behave with the new environment. Once they are ready, they will be planted at the just breed stations. The magical substrate you see here is made from the coconut coil. This also gives better performance and doesn't spill out, which also helps in aesthetics of the workspace. Next aspect is a light what we have given. It has a frequency that is matched the light of a sunlight, which helps in the process of photosynthesis. This is a water where we have stored. Uh, this water has been stored so that it can suffice the water needs of these plants. And this is completely maintained by the AI system. Whenever the plants require water, when they doesn't require water, everything will be taken care. And in terms of the stagnant water, we have a RO system which makes sure there is no stagnant water problem or aspect related with that thing. The next aspect that we are talking about the AI scope technology, the air vision technology, which is the main contributor, the parameters or main important aspect of the space station. AI scope has all the grade A sensors which can monitor all the parameters which contributes to AQI. And here is the air vision which gives you the psychological satisfaction index, so which talks about a comparison of parameters, ambient and indoor, in regard with the maintenance. The Just Peace Station is a self-monitored and AI maintenance so that you don't have to put or increase the carbon footprints in sending the more and more people to maintain this aspect. It all starts with designing the metal body of the station. Once all the parts put together, we get a station like this. For any startup, getting the idea and product is not enough. You have to convince the clients. B Nature's first client was Colliers in their Bangalore's office. As we always say that first step is always a difficult step and that is how what we faced also. Once the product was due, the second thing you need to make them understand that technology works. What is the current technology that they are using? What can value addition they can do with the help of Just Breathe? Colliers really helped us out, that was the first client and where we worked as a POC for them, where we have proved in three months how the difference can be bring in terms of wellness of the workplaces and employers. A major step they took was to educate the target audience through social media, especially creating content on LinkedIn. So in our case, what works well is the uh, interaction, the video interaction, the social platform interaction that we have done during this pandemic time that really opens a door. That has given us a chance and people have started giving us appointments, okay, let's come and discuss. Meanwhile, people, employees will going to come back. Let's discuss how your project and we can negotiate, give it a time, a buffer for the negotiations and commercial close. Starting from 2019, the times they were heading towards weren't great because COVID lockdowns started. It was difficult because one is we are introducing the new technology to people. The other aspect, we have to prove the efficacy of the solution. So it took a uh, almost good seven to eight months for us to first make them aware that this technology works, such technology do exist and this is the technology which is made in India where we got the patents for the product and design and which can add value to their different sustainability goals to the health and wellness goals which can enhance the productivity of their employees. So we started our office and everything, did all the puja in March 2020 and that is how when the big pandemic hit. And we all have to sit for four or five months at home and just waiting to get our product executed on ground. That is a very difficult phase, I would put it across because we have hired the new team that time. We need to pay them salary also to maintain, maintain the security, to maintain that assurance of the relationship that we have, how the team has started. 
but however it was uh, one of the i'll say the biggest challenging task to maintain ourselves to hold our horses that time and just to hope when this will be over so early adopters have really helped us to settle down the market their reference further moves to the early majority what we say in the in the entrepreneur journey that early majority goes to the other next growth phase of any product journey starting from december 2021 when we hit our with our new client colliers uh, then we move ahead to the bombay now today in 2024 we are serving almost 2 million square foot of area pan india from the first client colliers they went on to set up their air purifiers in bangalore international airport hospitals schools big corporate companies like shell google pepsico kia motors applied materials helion and many others that was be nature story a sustainable solution to indoor air pollution if you like the video share it with your friends who work in corporate jobs and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button